everybody, it's Casey Fangirl Shime. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. What a week it is to be a Marvel fan. Today we've got Hawkeye and tomorrow I am going to go and see Spider-Man. And I'm so excited, guys. But, talking about Hawkeye, we were left on a very emotional note and a very exciting note last episode. Yelena entered the picture and also the partnership between Kate and Hawkeye, Clint Martin, obviously, Seems a little bit severed at the moment, but I'm hoping things go back to normal in no time. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen, but also very excited. Um, obviously, there are a lot of theories surrounding this episode, whether a certain kingpin is going to appear. And I'm super excited, but also I'm like, you know, I'm trying to main, like remain calm and also cautious about the fact that he may not appear just because... People, like, you know, bring out theories all the time and they're always wrong and then the internet blows up and like, why aren't they there and la la la. So I'm just going to be like, you know, if he doesn't show up, it's fine. As long as he's just been mentioned, I'm pretty happy about it. Also, I do want to say sorry about yesterday's episode, not episode, sorry, but with the trailer reaction of <laughs> um, Fantastic Beasts, I'm using a new camera at the moment and it's not the same as my old one. It doesn't have, like, the flip so I can, like, look at myself while I'm filming just to check what's going on. I have to have a mirror behind just so I can see what's going on. Um, and so I didn't realize, like, how far my body was and stuff, because usually I can proportion it in the grid, like, the, the rule of thirds grid, but it didn't work. <laughs> so I apologize if that video was all over the place, but I'm set up a little bit better this time, and yeah, let's just hope I don't move around today too much and that I can get used to this camera. But anyway, let's jump straight into this episode, because I'm super excited and... Oh, yeah, let's jump into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <gasps> Natasha! Oh god, thank god I didn't skip the beginning, because usually I do when it does the preview thing. <laughs> 2018. <gasps> yeah. Wait, what? Oh, it snapped back into his existence. So it literally felt, probably felt for them like the exact same moment they left. I love that. Hold on. I just want to say, that was such an incredible t transition. I know we've seen sort of moments, especially with like WandaVision with... Is it Monica? I can't remember her name. The daughter of Captain Marvel's best friend. And she's in WandaVision, but I can't remember her name right now. But she got snapped. But we didn't really understand like how it felt for them. Like obviously we felt the panic from her. But imagine that. Like you feel like, you know, you suddenly see that your hands are like that and then boom, you're back and then everything starts like changing around you. That's sick. I love that transition. That was really well done. Cinematically wise, that was good. Five years later. Oh my God. Can you help me find Natasha? I need to tell her I'm okay. Oh, I would have loved to see her reaction, but I'm glad they didn't show it. Oh, so good. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh god. Also, I forgot to say at the beginning, especially because I've watched this episode, not this episode, the episode before three times now, I really think the mum is going to turn out to be, like, the villain of the show. Or, like, the wrong person in the show. I feel like the fiancé actually is just, like, this doofus <laughs> who just loves swords. Um, but I think it's going to be the mum who turns out to be a little bit iffy. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes the path is so wrong. They wind around in ways that we never would have expected. All I can do is keep my head. Feels like the mother just got in front of her path and made things difficult. Oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> She's so I'm cute. So I wanted to make food. <laughs> Yelena. I love her so much. I miss her. It's more like Roy. But in all honesty, if I wanted to kill you, I would have already. Right, because you opened the door. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't have even had time to shut it. No. And then... <laughs> Oh my god, it's going to be best friends. Give it another episode. 
I feel it. Where's Clint? We haven't seen Clint yet. There he is. How's it? How has everybody forgiven him for his past? He saved the world. No. My sister saved the world. Oh! Dasha Romanov, she saved the world. Yes, why are you asking? Wait, so does she think that Clint killed her so that the world could live? I think that's how she sees the narrative. Um... Instead of it being like, there was a choice, and Nata Natasha chose to sacrifice herself for the world, but also for her best friend, and so he can get back to his family, as well as the Avengers. So I don't think she knows that. Yelena knows that. And I think Clint's gonna have to have a word with her about it. He's still an Avenger. What does that word even mean, huh? That it holds so much power. You call him a hero no matter what he does? It means that when you choose to spend your life trying to help people, there are going to be things that you lose. Oh. When you face the kind of threats that he has, there's going to be collateral damage. My sister is gone because of him. Oh, bless Clint. Poor thing. Absolutely. No, it's the mum! Battle of New York. Ooh! Oh, that's where they first fought! Cuties! Natasha. I really need to talk to you right now. You were the bravest of us all, Reggie. Loyal. Stubborn. I just want to say I miss you. I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What's he gonna do? Oh shit! What? It was so heartwarming and now it's turned dark! What the heck? Come on, Kate. You need to talk about the other woman on the roof, not mine. No, the other one. I don't want to say too much on the phone. Call me back. <laughs> so the <laughs> this isn't over, Marty. I'm gonna find you. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages. <laughs> Maya, meet, meet me tonight. Me will you first meet the Vernon alone? Alone. Will be alone, Maya. <laughs> it's full of Maya, you doofus! Oh, the wife's so supportive. I trust your judgment. I love you. I love you. Go ahead, miss. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes. <laughs> he looks so cool. Oh, dude. Oh. You know what this reminds me of? Daredevil! Weapons. When they're filled with rage, makes you blind. They can be used. Oh my god, that's perfect. For both my and Clint. Tiffed off by informant. Works for you. Yes. Your words. Oh, don't buy Kate! 
great! Oh, Jesus, my heart. She looks so beautiful. Oh, she's tracking the mom. Interesting. Isn't she supposed to be looking for Clint? I found out she hired me. scene or something. Oh, dude! That was such a good episode! I loved it! <laughs> Hold on, I need to replay that scene. It's Vincent! The Nuffleon! <laughs> that makes me so happy! Oh! <laughs> oh! God, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Whew, that's the best thing! Ever. Oh, God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I'm just hyped now, because in the next episode, I'm guessing we are going to see the big boss. Um, dude. Oh, and I knew that the mum was up to some weird shit. So she's the one who's been giving money to Kingpin, and I think that's probably, like, she just planted that maybe for her fiancé to possibly be the one that takes the fall for that um, instead of herself. Um, and obviously she's pumping money towards Kingpin. Oh my god! And then obviously she has all these different connections and obviously knows about the Black Widows. Whew, dude. That makes me so freaking happy. And just now I can't wait for next week's episode. It's the last one, I'm pretty sure. Dude, the whole Ronin section reminded me so much of Daredevil. It was so well done. Kudos to the choreograph team as well for the stunts because that was amazing. I loved that whole section. And dude, the fact that Kingpin and even like... I feel like obviously second in command it might be it might have been the informant to tell maybe or it might have been Kingpin himself or he got somebody else to do it then it maybe wasn't that guy um who's close with Maya but I think like ugh, Maya's like shocked that's like obviously someone was planning to kill her father so now she's obviously questioning the integrity of her friendship with that guy and also with her uncle because that's her business partner as well and fa well family yeah so it's interesting so there's so much going on it's so good and oh dude the fact that you know like Kate I love that Kate like came to that sort of like conclusion on her own to try and go back to Clint and help him I love that and I was like hoping that she would do it no matter what the mom, the mum was saying um so I'm glad that she did and she went back and then even him he was like you know he didn't expect it but Clint was like in a way I think he's like thank the lord that you were there because otherwise I think he would have probably been stabbed by Maya um but that was just so good. That whole last part was fantastic. And then her... F and then just the icing on the cake with Kingpin in the end was just so good. And obviously, like, it is also right that the mother is the villain of the show. Um, and she's obviously got her hands dipped into some dirty business. Um, so it's really interesting to see that and the, all the connections and stuff. Because I honestly thought the fiancé was bad, but it just seems like he's a really chill guy who loves his swords and, you know, was in like involved in the auction and just wanted to collect swords and stuff. I'm so happy. Like, again, I didn't expect Kingpin to... Like, I, I, I thought the only mention was that you know, the big guy, and also the part with Maya was all we were going to get, because I was like, oh god, like, there's a 40 minute episode, we're not going to be able to go through it, maybe it's going to be next episode, and maybe it's at the end or something, like, that's going to be the big reveal, sort of leading into the rest of the MCU, but <laughs> the fact that he was in that photo was just like, 
Wah! Like, are we going to see him in the big finale next week? Because obviously there is still that scene that we have seen in the trailer where Clint is in a suit. Um, so is Kingpin going to be there? That's going to be pretty sick. But yeah. Oh, God. So good. Absolutely love this episode. Um, and I cannot wait for next week's episode. It's going to be so so good <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this episode of hawkeye episode 5 the rooted oh i'm so happy right now so it's gonna be interesting i hope they're able to wrap it up well because it is episode 6 the last episode um so yeah i i have hopes for it though it's so far it's been my favorite show i think apart from one division and okay so I think WandaVision is number one, Falcon's number two, but it is in <laughs> big, big fighting, fighting terms with Hawkeye. I feel like it's going to be like the place where Hawkeye and Falcon sort of sit, because I love these sort of shows, like where it's like investigating crimes and stuff like that. And just, yeah, the whole story about Clint has been so enjoyable to watch. So I'm excited to see where it goes and to see what happens in the final episode, how they finalize it, and how they open it up to the rest of the MCU. And if we get a season two, I feel like that's going to be interesting. Because I would love to see more stuff like this, but we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop because all I can think about is that final frame of the show. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here because otherwise I can talk about this forever. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. <laughs>